When coming to London, you sort out getting here and then you realize you've got to travel around. And how do you pay for this? Let us help you make the best decisions when it comes to buying tickets to travel around London by train, bus or river bus for you and your family. Having a day out? Let us take one stress away from you and make things clear and help you plan it in advance. Welcome to our guide of Faf Free Fares. Like anything in life, you have options. No surprise here. We can go easy or slightly more complicated, but either way, we'll explain both and then you can make up your mind. These transport options will cover you for the underground network, or tube as we like to call it, including the Elizabeth Line and DLR, Docklands Light Railway, London buses, that's the red ones, and trams, not many of these around. Also, it includes the Thames River Bus. Now, please note on these last two, it's not going to cover you for the tour buses and the tour boats. So, do you have a debit or a credit card from your bank with the contactless payment symbol on it? Yep, you know the one. It looks like a good Wi-Fi signal of the four arcs. You do? Brilliant! Welcome to the easy way. Your contactless card is your ticket. See, how easy is that? Told you! This is your adult ticket and also the best way to get the best price on all London public transport. Many contactless cards issued outside of the UK can also be used to pay as you go for travel, although some overseas transactions may apply. These include Emix, American Express, Mastercard and Maestro. Some cards issued in the USA and Canada and the Netherlands aren't accepted, so just check that one out. Visa and VPay. Some cards again issued outside the UK aren't accepted. If you've got a prepaid card, it might be accepted. Check with your card issuer first if you're not sure if your card is contactless or if it's rejected. Now, you can also use mobile payments, which is another great way to go, same as using a contactless card. You can make mobile payments with devices such as phones, watches, key fobs, stickers or wristbands. You can also use different mobile payments to travel, including Apple Pay, Barclay Card Contactless Mobile, BPay, Fitbit Pay, Garmin Pay, Google Pay, Samsung Pay. If you use a mobile payment associated with a non-UK bank card, your card may not work or you may be charged an overseas transaction fee. Once again, check with your card issuer first. So how do you use it? Well, you touch in at the start of your journey and touch out at the end on the yellow card readers using the contactless card or device for all train and river bus journeys. And if you're going by bus or tram, you only touch on the way in. You can pay for someone else's travel with your contactless card or device if they're traveling with you, but you need to pay for your own travel with a different card or device than theirs. If you've got a joint bank account, you can usually both use your contactless cards to travel as each card will be charged separately. Now this is great because it always means you pay the right fare. Always use the same device or contactless card to touch in and out to pay the right fare for your journey. If you don't, they're not going to be able to get the best fares for you, which is referred to as a cap. Now, for example, don't touch in with an iPhone and touch out with an Apple Watch or a contactless card. So, if you use your watch to tap in, that's what you need to continue to use for that whole day or week if you're here longer to get the best deals. Even though it might be the same card registered on your phone and watch, you want to get this bit right. Once you start, it's really easy to remember. Also, if you're using your phone, make sure you've got enough battery. Otherwise, you'll be paying the maximum fare or you might get a penalty fare. Also, one other thing to watch out for is card clash by keeping your contactless and Oyster cards, and we'll be covering those a little bit later, away from your device when touching in and out so you only pay for your travel with the right card or device. Otherwise, the system might get confused and then click on the wrong device. Now, when you get here, We've got some amazing places to show you. So I've put a playlist up in the top right hand corner of secret places in London that so many people don't know about. So if you click on that, there's some amazing places that you can plan in advance to go to. So how much does it all cost? You can check out your fare on the TFL Fare Checker page. Now I've put that link down below in the description on their website. But as an example, to cover most of the London Underground Network, which covers zones one to four, and the London Underground Network is in zones, with central London being zone one, the cost per adult at the time of this video would be £11 maximum per day and £55.22 over a seven day week without any limits at all to how much you travel. And that's on the tubes, that's on the buses, it's on the trams, the Docklands Light Railway. You might see the payment on your bank statement as travel charges or tfl.gov.uk forward slash cp. You can create an account on the TFL Oyster app and if you do that, you can check your payments and journey history. You can get email alerts if there's an issue with your contactless card, which might stop you from traveling. You can apply for refunds if you needed to, and you can also, should it actually happen, pay any unpaid fares. 
See how easy is that? Just turn up, tap, and you're off. This video giving you value? Then do us a favor, hit the like button so we can get this out to more people to love London. Plus, also make it easier for them to travel around this great capital as well. Now, we talked earlier about this thing called an Oyster card, and an Oyster card is a smart card that you can add money to. So, you can pay as you go. And you can pay as you go to travel on a bus, tube, tram, DLR, the London Overground, most of the Elizabeth Line, the Emirates Airline, and also the Thames Clipper River Bus services. Now, you can get an Oyster card online with the contactless and Oyster account app if you live in the UK. You can do it at Oyster ticket shops in many news agents in London, at all Tube, London Overground and most Elizabeth Line stations, some DLR stations and also visitor centres which are scattered around. You need to pay £5 for an Oyster card. Your £5 will be refunded automatically as pay-as-you-go credit after one year when you make a journey with your card. You must collect your refund within six months or you won't be eligible to receive it. One thing you've got to remember is this is a pay-as-you-go card but you need to top it up in advance which is the benefit of having a contactless card because you just take it and use it as you need to. You don't need to manually top it up beforehand. If you're going to top up your Oyster card, you can do that online. You can do that online with a contactless and Oyster account if you live in the UK. There's the free TFL Oyster and contactless app. You can also do that at Oyster ticket stops, which again is in many news agents in London, at ticket machines all over the tube, the London Overground, mostly Elizabeth Line and also National Rail Stations, at some of the Docklands Light railway stations as well, at visitor centres, and also if you're in Croydon, there's a tram link shop there where you can do it as well. When you get an Oyster card, you need to register it so you can apply for refunds or replacements, or if you've added credit or discount to it. If you don't register your card and lose it, your pay-as-you-go credit, travel card, bus, tram pass, etc. won't be refunded. To register your card, create a contactless and Oyster account, which is really easy and the details are once again provided and we've got links down below in the description to help you. Also, using an Oyster card, you can use Auto Top Up, which means you never run out of pay-as-you-go credit, but remember the money is sitting on your card. When your balance goes below £20, they'll automatically top up your Oyster card for you if you approve them to do so and you set it up with either £10, £20 or £40 from your bank account. The question you're probably asking now is which is the cheapest way of doing it, contactless or Oyster? Well, they're both the same. Both charges using either card is exactly the same. But the thing you've got to take into account is to use your Oyster card, you've got to have money loaded on it first, which means you've got money sitting on your Oyster card. And if you don't use all the money sitting on your Oyster card, it will still be sitting there. So do you use your debit card or credit card with the contactless piece, in which case that comes directly out of your bank account as and when you use it? Or do you buy an Oyster card and you load it up beforehand? The choice is yours. Now this covers traveling for adults. And next we're going to look at children traveling. But if you fall under any of the following, then you'll need to go to the TFL website for how to get discounts on traveling. And the link is in the description under this video for discounts. That's for those that are apprentices, uh, students over 18, students over 16, and those at 60 years plus. Once again, the link is down below and that will give you more details on the TFL site. Right, let's have a look at children. For children under five, they just travel for free. Now, if you are coming for a trip to London with children and thinking, where do we go and what do we see when we get there? Have we helped you? I've put a playlist up in the top right hand corner of places to take children, especially during holiday times. So if you click on that, we've got loads of great ideas in there for you. Now, for children aged 5 to 10, they can travel free on the Tube, Docklands Light Railway, which is the DLR, the London Overground and the Elizabeth Line services if they've got a 5 to 10 zip Oyster photo card. And I'll tell you more about that in a minute under the 11 to 12 zip Oyster card. Or alternatively, they're traveling with an adult who is using a pay as you go or has a valid ticket a Freedom Pass or an Oyster photo card, and that up to four children per adult can travel. So it's nice and easy. So really, you start paying for children from the age 11 to 15. And for 11 to 15, there's a Zip Oyster photo card. Children aged 11 to 15 can get this free and discounted travel on all transport services with a Zip Oyster card. The benefits of having this card is a free travel on buses and trams. Child rate pay as you go on fares on the Tube, Docklands Light Railway, London Overground, Elizabeth Line, except between West Drayton and Reading, and the Emirates Airline, which is the cable car which goes across East London, goes across the Thames. You also get 50% off most fares on national rail services and also 50% off adult rate tickets on the Thames Clipper River Bus services. So who's it for? It's for children aged 10 years and 11 months and under 16 on the 31st of August each year and can get an 11 to 15 zip Oyster card. 
If your child was 15 on the 31st of August, they can still apply for and use an 11 to 15 zip Oyster photo card, even though they'd use it when they're 16. How to apply for it if you're in the UK and ongoing? A parent or guardian must apply for an 11 to 15 zip Oyster photo card. When you apply, you agree that the zip Oyster photo card holders will comply with the young person's behavior guide. If they don't, they can actually withdraw their photo card. How do they use it? Once you get your 11 to 15 zip Oyster photo card, you can use it straight away. Make sure, as normal, you touch in at the start of your journey, touch out at the end on the yellow card readers, and you only need to touch in on buses and trams, as covered before. The 11 to 15 zip Oyster photo cards expire on the 30th of September, in the year after your child's 16th birthday. A parent or guardian can then apply for a 16 plus zip Oyster photo card. Now, young visitor discount. So if you don't live in London or in the UK and you're visiting with children who don't have an 11 to 15 zip Oyster photo card, they can get discounted travel for up to 14 days with the young visitor discount. They also get 50% off adult rate pay as you go fares and daily caps on buses, tube, tram, Docklands Light Railway, London Overground, Elizabeth Line, and most national rail services. They also get 50% off adult rate tickets on the Emirates Airline and also the Thames Clipper River Bus services. The discount can be added to a standard Oyster card or a visitor Oyster card by a member of staff at any Tube or London Overground station, visitor centres scattered around London, but just not at Gatwick Airport. Now you must have the child or children with you when you ask for the young visitor discount. In a minute, I'll tell you what I do. Now, if you're coming to London and you've got children with you and you're thinking, right, where do we go? We've already put a playlist for you for during the holidays, but we've also got something more specific, which is five places to take children, which is one of our extremely popular videos. And we've been to these places numerous times and tested them as well. So I'll put a link to that up in the top right hand corner for you. So what do I do as a seasoned London traveler? For me, it's contactless all the way. I've never had a single issue with it and I've been using it for years. Now, I know I'm going to get the right fares with the right prices and it becomes one less thing to think about when I'm having fun in London. So that's what I do. Travelling is one of the most common things we get asked about on the channel and I hope that this video and the links in the description below will help you to have a fun and stress-free time when coming to London to see some of the amazing things this city has to offer. Love London and you're coming over? Then you'll want to catch our taster video in the top right hand corner of some of the great places you can visit and see when you come on your trip to London. We wish you a safe journey to London and we look forward to seeing you when you get here. Thanks for watching.